So you want to add lyrics to your release. So when using Apple Music and other popular platforms, your lyrics are easy to read, available, and easy for fans to interact with if they want to sing along. So here's what you need to do. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the playlist on the Help Center from the Ditto Music YouTube channel and more specifically, the video on how to use the Ditto Music Builder. So once you've got your head around that and you're on stage two or page two, here is where it'll matter the most. You'll need to follow the audio requirements and make sure you tick all of the boxes here to make sure you've gave your consent but also understand what it's asking and what it's suggesting. Then you'll need to look back at where your track is, the track you've uploaded and after you know you've filled in all the information that you need to fill in, you need to ensure that you click edit. Once you go to edit, you're going to go straight down to where it says, do you want to add lyrics and here you'll press yes. So here you have two options, you have either on the left to manually import all of the lyrics, you can copy and paste it, or on the right you can drag and drop a document, a dot dot x file or a dot text file right here or you can select the file search it and upload it what's really important here is to follow the information and adhere to all the guidelines or the lyrics may be rejected so the first one is lyrics must match the audio you've uploaded so that just basically means make sure the lyrics are perfectly aligned with the lyrics that are in the song. So for the second point, it says don't add commas at the end of each line. End each line with no punctuation. So if you notice in the lyrics, uh, I end all the lines and then I move to the next line. There's no commas, there's no full stops. So point three, start each line with a capital letter and don't upload lyrics in all upper or lower case. So it's just literally about having the capital letters at the start of the sentence and keeping everything else lowercase where it needs to be. So with point four, please ensure you add all the explicit words and lyrics as they will be sorted and reviewed after rather than to bleep them out yourself or to change the words if they don't fit to the actual audio. And if you have a repeated chorus or four bars or four lines that are repeated within an eight bar chorus, it's important to make sure you write them out in full and not to just write times two or times three or whatever it might be. And then the fifth point is very important. So all of the lyrics that you write should be formatted in the same way a poem would be. So in the sense of stanzas, and I'll show you what I mean. So every individual lyric line should have a single line break. Each verse, chorus or bridge should be separated into stanzas using a double line break. So for example, after this being the verse, then we will go to the chorus. And if you notice, there is two lines as a break to kind of break up the difference between the verse and the chorus itself. But in the verses, it's good to have a single line break. But don't forget to make sure, like I said, that everything starts with a capital. Very important. And if things are spelled differently, then that's fine as long as that's the way you would spell them for your song. So once you've completed and you've wrote down the whole lyrics or you've imported them, in this case, I feel it would be better to just manually paste them in and tweet them where it needs be to fit the requirements and the audio guidelines. So after that, it's very important to say whether it has explicit content or whether it doesn't. Again, this is something that can get your whole release rejected from the stores. So ensure that you're answering the question to the best of your ability and that it's true to the track. And literally after that, it's the same process that you go through on the how to use the Ditto Music Builder. So once you've got those lyrics sorted, you go through, get to the end and you're good to go. It's that simple. But just a little side note, but if you're curious specifically on how to get your music on Instagram, you can utilize Music Match, musicmatch.com, and that's M-U-S-I-X-M-A-T-C-H. So you'd have to sign up with musicmatch.com and enter in all your details. Then you'd have to add and edit your time sync lyrics whether it be on the Music Match app or the desktop website. Once they've been approved by Music Match, you'll be able to locate them, utilize them on Instagram stories and the lyrics will pop up whenever the music's playing. You'd literally head to story mode on Instagram, create your video or picture or whatever you wanna upload and head to the music sticker icon. You'll have to search for your song, find your song, utilize the scrubber to find which part of the song you want to utilize and have played in your Instagram story. Obviously get creative with it. Use fonts and images and animations and colors and whatnot and create a best story and you can move around your text and make sure that it's exactly how you want it to be and that you know, you've done it, you've got your lyrics on there as a part of the songs 
things and that other people can utilize it as well. You can get your fans, supporters, family and friends to share your music and see the lyrics directly. And once you're done with that, you just post your story, as simple as that. So definitely get involved with adding your lyrics to your releases under your music. And also you can utilize Music Match to get it further afield. And it's as simple as that. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below and hit that notification bell. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.